Welcome back to JTL Mally 9681's LPs. I'm your host, JTL Mally 9681. And we are still currently playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time for the Nintendo DS. This is part 39 of our adventure. Chapter 17, The Guild Crew. Here we are, Wigglytuff's Guild. Feels like we've been gone a long time. But, now that we're here, it's kind of hard to go in. You know how we disappeared suddenly. It'd be kind of strange to just walk on in and say, hi, we're home. No, we can't be feeling embarrassed. We gotta see everyone to tell the truth. Alright, here we go. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint belongs to... No, footprint belongs to... What's wrong, Diglett? Respond! Respond! What? Hey, Diglett! What do you think you're burning off to? Th that footprint! It's total! What? What? It is total! GTM only two! Diglett! Long time no see! What? Uh, what the? <laughs> Louder always does that. Hey, hey! It's true! Oh my gosh! It really is GT O'Malley in total! You're both alive! We're worried about you! I... I was... My golly! Everyone, we're home! Alley. What? What was that? Uh, hold on. Let me get this straight. Let me summarize this. Grovile is actually a good Pokemon. He was collecting time gears to save the world. Right? Dust Noir only pretended to be kind and helpful, but he was actually a wicked villain? Yep. Though I didn't really phase it wicked. Also, JTM Mally was Grovile's partner? Yeah. And Dustin wanted to get rid of both of you and Grovile? So he took you guys to the future? Yep. Then you escaped by the skin of your teeth, and you barely made it back home. Yep. And now the planet is becoming paralyzed? And to prevent that, Grovile has to start gathering the time gears again? Meanwhile, you two are need, need to go look for the hidden land? Is that the full extent of your story? That's all of it. <laughs> you two! You must have had a bad dream. What? Why don't you two just go in your room and rest? Hey, wait, wait a second! Are you saying we're lying? Well, we just told you it's true! I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure you two are suffering from exhaustion. A good nap will fix that. That's not it, Chad. I'm telling you, we're not lying. That's quite enough. So tell me, is there any part of your story that's even remotely plausible? A place called the Hidden Land? I'm the head of intelligence here, and I've never heard of that. Besides, the Great Dust Noir is far too kind. Yeah, sure, I couldn't believe the truth myself at first. That was a huge shock. I will not hear any more of this! I don't care what you say! Death Noir the villain? Unbelievable! Seriously! Do you two feel the same way? How can anybody else think Death Noir is a villain? Well, we do hold him in high esteem. Yeah, see? See? Isn't that how the world today always looks at things? And ages ago from now. Now, you see, everyone shares that opinion, but... Huh? Hey, what is this on Flora? There is something I don't understand. 
This new one was about to return! What Dustin or did, that was very strange. Anyway, you look at it. Really, do you think so? Don't you think that they just fell in the hole on accident? No way! Dustin or dra grabbed them and yanked them in. But hey, that's right. It looked that way to me. Hey, hey, what happened was really weird. I really had to wonder why Dustin or would do something like that. If what totals said is true, then what Dustnor did makes sense. What? Wait a minute! So is that what you think now? Are you actually saying that you believe this? Well, what's your answer? Well, uh, I believe them. What did you say? Bidoof! You're now claiming that he's a villain? <laughs> Golly, I surely did think highly of him. The whole idea sounds troubling. But there's something more important here. Yup, yup. These two are more important. That's why I believe what they have to say. What? 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 My move. Hey, I believe too. Me too. Oh my gosh. They're our guild's colleagues after all. Cornfish, not for a... I believe them! Me too! So do I! Casting doubt on our colleagues is wrong. Trust is a must. <laughs> Thank you, everyone! Thank you for believing us! Well, hiya! Sounds like we all agree! We all believe our friends! That's great! Then let's begin searching for the hidden land! Well, hold on there, Goutmaster! <laughs> Hmm? What's wrong? We're not all in agreement yet, are we? Huh? We're all good with the story! But I suspect that Janet isn't convinced! Oh, is that all? You don't have to worry about Janet. Janet is convinced, right? Because Janet believed Total Story all along, right Janet? How peculiar! Oh, Guildmaster, there's no fooling you. I admit it. Yes, I believed you from the start. But if I would have just said that I believed it right away, then everybody would have just gone along with that. What's all this? That's why I was so contrary. I wanted to put your friendship to the test. Gosh, likely story. But without a doubt, I was convinced from the get-go. I knew everyone would surely believe their colleagues. Says you! JT, Total, I believe you. You're my good friends in guild membership. Now listen, everybody! Time is stopping more and more. From Total's story, we know our world is in danger. That means we must do something. This is our time. In the name of Wigglytuff's Guild, we'll combine all our efforts. We'll discover the hidden land. Let's do this. Got it? Y y y y yes, sir. Okay, everyone. From now on, we're shifting all our efforts in locating the hidden land. We also have to let everyone know what's happening. It's going to get busy. We'll all have to work hard. Why well, sure will. I'll put her down to Treasure Town. I'll get the word out, by golly. I'll go too. We have to let Azelf and his friends know too. If they're back at their lakes, they may try to stop Crowbile. Hey, hey, then I'll go tell them. Okay, everybody, search for the hidden land. Yeah! Baidu, Sunflora, and others, once your errands are done, gather information. Yes, sir. We'll hurry. We'll find the hidden land together. You die! Alright, let's get to Shoulder Road! Hey! I'm sorry that I don't have any information on the Hidden Land, but maybe Wise Torkoal, the town elder, may know something. 
Town Elder? That would be the wisest and oldest Pokemon in Treasure Town. He loves the hot spring, so he'll always be there. In fact, I'm positive that you'll find him in the hot spring. Oh, I remember. Oh, it's him. It's the nice old Pokemon we met. You should put his years of wisdom to use. Go ask Torkoal for advice. I guess it's Torkoal. I don't know. I think we gotta go to the hot spring through the waterfall cave, right? Well, let's get off to the hot spring. But first, it is getting late, and besides, you must be hungry. Hey, my stomach growled. Hang yours did too. You should have dinner. Then get a good night's sleep. We can all get started tomorrow. Hang your belly growled again. What did you want to do that? What a laugh! Letting your belly bark back at Chimico! It's been a while since we've been in this room. Feels like I'm finally home. You know, I'm glad everyone believed us. I got a little choked up. We'll go meet Torkoal tomorrow and get some information. Let's get back at it tomorrow. Alright folks, that's gonna be it. Just a little short one with catching up on the story. Next part, we'll finally get into some action. Stay tuned for that part, which will be part 40 of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time for Nintendo DS. Hope you all enjoyed part 39, and until next time, I'll see you on part 40. Laters.